if you're in business trying to sell things, whether it's a product or a service, you're going to need some way to accept payments online. And that's why today we're going to be taking a look at a shopping cart comparison. We're going to look at about five of them. There are certainly more than that, but these are some of the most popular ones. And I kind of want to explain some of the criteria that you may want to look at to help evaluate what works for you. We're going to look at some that are free. We're going to look at some that are paid. And hopefully it'll help you in your own decision of what is best for you. I'm going to have links for all of these services and products in the description below. And keep in mind, some of them may be affiliate links, particularly if I talk about Thrivecart. I can promise you this. When anybody talks about Thrivecart on YouTube, they are an affiliate. But I'm not an affiliate for all of them. And I really do want you to make the best decision for yourself. So an affiliate link just simply means that there's no extra charge to you. But if you decide to buy something that I recommended, that I get a little small commission from it. With that in mind, we're going to talk about a couple of free things. We're going to talk about WooCommerce, which has both free and paid options. We're going to talk about a WordPress plugin, which WooCommerce is. Another one is called Studio Cart, which is a WordPress plugin. It has a free version and a paid version. We're going to talk about some software as a service thing. So that will be SamCart, Thrivecart, and also ConvertKit, which, as you may know, is an email service provider, but they also have a commerce section. And you can actually use that for free on their free plan with ConvertKit. So we'll go and look at some of the pages that they have and discuss the benefits, pros and cons. But before we get to that, I want to let you know that I've got a free download for you. And it is the top 10 questions about a high converting website. And this came up because, look, I had people coming to me asking questions. They wanted me to be a web developer. They couldn't necessarily afford the prices, but they had an idea to start a business. And that's where I came up with my ideas for my course, my membership, and of course, this ebook to kind of give them the information that they need to know to get started. And it's not impossible to build your own WordPress website as long as you have someone to guide you. And that's kind of what the service is that I'm providing now with the courses and membership and other things like that. So I would just want you to take a look at that. There is a link in the description below, or you can just go to conversionquestions.com and there's no charge for this. You can go ahead and get your copy of this for free. And I hope it helps you very much. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these commerce platforms and shopping cart services. We're going to start off with SamCart. It's a very popular one. It's a very good one by all accounts. I have not used SamCart personally. My wife has. She used to provide customer support for a membership called The Run Experience. They're very popular folks. And they used SamCart while she was working there. And her description of it was, it's beautiful and it's stupid simple. Now, the run experience moved on to WooCommerce later on. I don't know the reasons why they decided to make a change. But one of the reasons may be pricing, because SamCart is not the most economical thing. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. But it can do a lot of things. If you take a look over here under the features, they've got a number of things. Embeddable checkout is really good. If you, That way, if you've got a sales page someplace and you can just put the check-in cart there instead of having to have people click a button and go to another page, that's something that works out very well. They have dedicated checkout pages that you can work. You can have a pop-up checkout. You can create sales pages on SamCart. And they've got this new technology that came out a couple of months before I recorded. It's called Checkout OS that basically makes certain that everything loads quickly and is a bit more intuitive. So I think SamCart is a very good option if you can afford it. And we'll take a look at some of the other things over here before we get to the pricing. So they've got a number of payment methods. You can easily do a one-click upsell, which is kind of what I think of like with a bump order and add-on. So sometimes you go to a place and you buy something and there's a little check mark, check box there. It says, that's a bump order. Hey, for $17 more, you can get this set of templates or guides or books or a course or whatever that enhances the thing that you already ordered. An upsell is when you offer them something a bit more than just an enhancement for a bump order. That's like, since you bought this course, you may also want this course, or you may also want this package. Maybe you want consulting. And one click means it's very simple for them to say yes, because you've already put in your information and you're basically ready to go. All you have to do is click this button to accept the offer. Cart abandonment is another thing that is very important in shopping cart services. Sometimes people go in there and they put in their information and then they don't check out. Could be a number of reasons. Maybe they changed their mind or maybe they got distracted and they thought they'd come to it later. Card abandonment will send something to your email service provider so you can follow up with them on emails 
say, hey, did you forget something in your checkout? Or offer them a discount if they haven't come back in a few uh, emails. It is something that just gives you another chance to try and complete the sale. Now, where it says deliver, obviously they've got a lot of integrations and SamCart integrates with a lot of things. There are different email systems, different tools, different communities, and that helps as well. They also now have courses. So in other words, if you want to sell and deliver courses, they have a system inside that can do that for you. As far as the management, there's you can get your payments managed. You can have subscriptions. You can have affiliates. You get reports on what's going on with your system because you, you always want to make certain that you know what's selling, what's not, and then you're looking for opportunities to improve. But this last one here I wanted to point out, Customer Hub. This helps you quite a bit with customer support. If somebody wants to cancel or if they want to change their credit card number or which card they're using or other ways manage their account, a Customer Hub helps reduce your support burden by allowing the customers to take care of things for themselves. All right, so I said I would talk about the pricing. Their pricing went up a couple of months before I recorded this. So you can try it out for free for seven days. I do like that. And then you can see the different plans. So $79 a month to start. It's not insignificant. And you get these features over here. But what you don't get are some of the things that go in other plans. So if you want the one-click upsell, well, you have to get the grow plan. If you want card abandonment, you have to get the grow plan. Also notice that the admin users, you've got one. So that's if you're a solopreneur working by yourself. But if you have a team and you need other people to sign in, then you need another plan. If you come over to the scale at $319 a month, you get access to the API, which some people will need if they're hiring a developer. Some people don't. There is A-B testing, the subscription saver, which they said is kind of built-in dunning sequences to recover lost sales. There's an affiliate center. So if you want to have affiliates sell your product, you need to be on this plan if you're using SamCart. CRM integrations would be for things like HubSpot, Infusionsoft, which I think is now Keep and some of those uh, services, and then 10 admin users. You can get a free trial for all of these and they'll let you see everything during your free trial. So I think SamCart is great. It is a wonderful thing. And they have some really good ideas to help you with marketing. And they'll migrate all this stuff over for you. They'll do things for you. So there's a good live support system. I think that it's something good to look at if it fits within your budget. If it's not within your budget, then you may want to try something else. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. This is Thrivecart. So I purchased this as a lifetime deal uh, a number of years ago. And as you can see, it says special offer one-time payment. That is the lifetime deal. You get all the features in here without different plans. There is a, a pro add-on. So you can buy a Thrivecart. And then if you want, you can buy a Thrivecart Pro for a few more things. And they've got a video of here. Now, they have been saying that this has the possibility of changing at any time, which has been true. They've been saying that for years. I don't know if they plan to change this or not, but they've got a 30 days pays for itself refund guarantee. So for the first 30 days, you don't get a free trial, but you do have a money back guarantee. And they say this price may increase soon. I like that may because... It's a way of adding some scarcity to their offer without actually committing to it. Now, earlier this year in 2023, there were some investors who put about $35 million into Thrivecart. They've done a number of improvements. A number of things have also screwed up. So we'll talk about that a little bit. If you take a look at some of these uh, funnels and conversions, one of the complaints about Thrivecart was it was very basic and utilitarian. Now they have some really nice looking checkout pages and cart services. And they also still have the legacy ones for the people who want to use that. They have been adding on new features. They've always, at least that I've had it, had embeddable pages, pop-up carts, or you could just go to your page on their service. It's worked very well and it's been very reliable. But one of the things that's interesting about them is they don't take a cut of what you're selling. Now you have to connect this to a payment processor like Stripe or PayPal they do take a cut. So it could be like 2.9% plus 30 cents of the purchase price for Stripe. And I think PayPal is similar to that. So that's where per transaction, whether you're selling something or giving a refund, those payment processors are the ones that are going to charge you, but you're not going to get charged 
more by Thrivecart. And once you've bought it, it's yours for life, unless they change that at some point in the future. They have bump orders. So you can see this is the kind of thing I was talking about, a limited time special offer. And you can kind of change pricing over here and make it where it's a discount or it's related. You can have one-click upsell funnels, just as we talked about over on Samcart. You can embed your cart anywhere. You get more sales if there are fewer steps that people have to go through. And you can integrate with other tools. One of the things that I was happy to see with Thrivecart was they made an announcement this summer that they were going to be integrating with Fluent CRM by the end of July. I'm recording at the end of September. That hasn't happened yet. Their priorities changed a bit. So they're still saying that they will integrate with Fluent CRM, which is something I use on some of my sites, but not yet. Now I could get that to work with webhooks and a bit more technical effort. I've since moved Suburbia Press over to ConvertKit for different reasons. They integrate with ConvertKit and a number of other ER, uh, CRMs and services like that, also with uh, learning systems. There are a lot of integrations. And of course, there are still webhooks or Zapier if you need to have that. So you're going to be able to integrate with whatever you need. They have intelligent reports. And again, this is something you need to understand to manage your business. I would say that this is on par with what I'm seeing with Samcart as far as the services they provide. And it is going to be a much more lower cost. You're going to pay once and maybe buy the upsell for the pro version, and then you're done. Whereas with Samcart, you're going to keep on paying. But Samcart is going to have likely more of the attractive templates than you're going to find here. And also, there's no mobile app for this one. I'm not positive. I think Samcart may have a mobile app, but don't hold me to that because I'm, as I said, I haven't used Samcart. So if that's important to you, that's something to consider for some of these things. And you can have intelligent behavior rules over here. That's really helpful. For example, sometimes I want to put something out there for a limited time offer for, let's say, 15 minutes. And if somebody doesn't buy within that time, the price should go up. So that's where the intelligent offers come in. And I can make two different uh, products inside. So one has the countdown timer with a discount. When that timer expires, then I can just reroute them to the full price version. And that adds a bit of scarcity to something that you're going to be selling. So there's a lot of flexibility in here. And I think this is a good product. Now, I mentioned that they have a lot of features. If you go to their page, you can see kind of the thumbnails here. The A-B testing, two-step cart if you want, modal cart, which is basically a pop-up. You can embed this on your sales page, the one-click bump offer. You have video carts. In other words, if you want to put a video presentation in, you can do that as well. You can have automatic follow-ups. And you'll see some of these where it says pro. So if you want to have the affiliate marketing, you're going to need to upgrade for the pro. But these other things over here that don't have pro next to it are available in the base purchase. So if you want to have AB testing on Samcart, you've got to be on their $315 version here. It's included with the basic version. You can have coupons. There is a customer hub again, so people can manage their own accounts. You can have a number of shopping carts. It is secure. So there's a simple sales tax, instant affiliate payments and predicted revenue. Those are pro things as well as JV partner contracts. But everything else that you see here is something that is included with the basic Thrive Heart. So you don't have to upgrade to the Pro. It is there if you want it. I did it because I upgraded everything. But honestly, I haven't uh, done much with that as far as the affiliate payments or the affiliate services. But I do like the ability to have it there in case I need it in the future. And customer support is very good. They're a little slow right now because they have doubled their customer support with the new investors, but they're getting a lot of support questions. Because as I said, some things aren't working quite right. For example, they introduced their new templates and they introduced like new payment providers. So they said, here's 40 more currencies you can use. Upgrade now. So a lot of people upgraded when they first rolled out. And then there was a bug and they couldn't take any payments. They got the bug resolved and they're getting other things resolved. There was something on their Facebook group recently when I'm recording this in September, 2023 where they made a list of things that they had just recently fixed. Basically, they're having some growing pains right now. I anticipate that these growing pains will get resolved. So they're eager and anxious. I think they need to do a little bit more testing before they roll some of these things out. But that is my only complaint. Otherwise, this has been a very good and reliable service for me for many years. They're going through some growing pains with the new investors. And 
I'm not surprised by that. I, people can get frustrated by that, particularly if you're trying to make sales and you know something's not working right. These are a number of the integrations that you'll see over here. So you know if you want to do Apple Pay, and I'm sure that Sam Card can do that as well. Google Pay, you can see that it integrates with a lot of different services for your email providers. If you're using uh, Thinkific, that is by Zapier. Same thing with Airtable, LearnDash, if you're doing courses on your WordPress site. So you'll see this little via Zapier underneath some of the ones that don't have a direct integration. And there are more than what it's showing over here, but I'm using uh, ConvertKit now. So Fluent CRM is not on here, but I can integrate with it via Zapier right now. And also Fluent CRM has something called Fluent Connect. It's another WordPress plugin that they developed to connect with Thrivecart. And that helps you out quite a bit as well too. So there's a lot of stuff over here. I think that it is a very good product. So you can see that it is uh, $4.95 for one-time payment without any recurring fees. And then if you want to upgrade to the pro version, you can see down here where it, what you get if you upgrade. And I don't see the price right here, but I think that the pro version is a little under $200 to upgrade for those features. So if you don't need it, you don't have to upgrade. All right, let's take a look on to some of our free things. This is ConvertKit, and you probably know it as an email service provider, and it's a very good one. I like Fluent CRM. I like ConvertKit. The reason I switched to ConvertKit was because of an integration that came up with the place where I host my courses and memberships, which is called Searchy. And they had a direct integration, so I didn't have to use Zapier anymore. And that meant that I didn't have to pay Zapier anymore. I didn't have to deal with the occasional issues or quirks that come up with Zapier. They have a beautiful integration with Searchy. Now, not everybody's going to need that. But why is this free? Well, that's because you can see, start your free trial. No credit card required. They'll even switch you over for free. Now, that switch over depends a little bit on which email service provider. For example, I had Fluent CRM when I was switching over. They didn't have a service for that. And I'm not surprised. But they did from most of the other major uh, service providers out there. And how much work they would do depended on the size of your list. But here's where the free part comes in. You can work on a free plan up to, I think, 1,000 subscribers and still have access to their commerce system. So if we go over here to features, you'll see that over here, commerce, earn income. There are another things, and again, this says get started for free. So you can have a shopping cart service over here. You can do discounts and you can sell your products and they'll host some of the products or redirect them as needed. So if you have an ebook, for example, my uh, free ebook that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I host on ConvertKit. I've got a landing page from ConvertKit. It's beautiful. It works very well and it simplifies things. And it makes it very easy to just add tags to people in an automation. So that way they get things in. Now, you can do the same thing with things that you sell. So whether it's an ebook, you know, a paid newsletter, which they support. If you've got albums, presets, if you do coaching, there are a number of different plans. They've also got a number of templates that you can customize and put your own colors in there, put your own text in there, even your own images. And it just makes it very easy to get started. And as I said, you can start with this for free. So that is something. Now, of course, as you get paid plans, you're going to have more features both for your email service and for your uh, commerce service. But if you are just starting off and you don't have a lot of money to invest, you can get a free email plan and you can get a free commerce. Now they charge a little bit more. They charge 3.5% plus 30 cents of your checkout fee. So whereas it was 2.9% over on Thrivecart, it is, or Stripe basically is where that fee is coming from. Using ConvertKit, you don't have to integrate with Stripe, but they charge 3.5%. So it's just a little bit more. But for getting started, I think that's a really good way to go. So keep that in mind if you're trying to bootstrap and getting into what you're uh, going to start and you might have the chance to upgrade later on. ConvertKit is a very good option and it's a very good email service provider. WooCommerce has been around for many, many years. There is the free open source plugin for WordPress. So this is going to be something hosted on your own server. And they also have a service that is hosted, which costs. So here's the difference. So we come over here to sell. Woo for merchants. I'll click on that first. This is the paid version. There is a free trial. 
And this is where they're hosting everything. And you can see that there are two different plans, $39 a month, or if you pay annually, it goes down to 25 a month. The performance plan, $70 a month, or if you pay annually, 45. So it's almost like a no-brainer that they want to sell you the annual plans, particularly on the performance. So you can see all the services that you get here, and it's a good service for people who don't want to host this on their own website. And there is reason for this service because hosting WooCommerce on your WordPress website means a couple of things. One, you're going to have to have a very robust server because it is a heavy plugin. Your server is going to be doing all the work rather than their server farm that's going to be doing all the work. You're going to have more technical issues to deal with. That means you plug in WooCommerce, then you're going to need to integrate it with other things. And all those integrations are things that you're going to have to do yourself. Now, WooCommerce has been around for a long time. Almost everything integrates with WooCommerce. I don't think you're going to have any problem getting the integrations set up and working, but you're going to have to do them without just like a one-click thing. And here it is, and it works. So be prepared for a bit more of a technical investment rather than a monetary investment, because you can download WooCommerce plugin for free. There are a lot of add-ons to it. There are other enhancements to the shopping cart experience, but there's a lot of support for WooCommerce plugin. It's free. If you don't mind doing the work, then this is a way that you can get up. So you can get it uh, attached to Stripe or PayPal or whatever kind of payment service that you want. And you can do a lot of customization for it. There are themes specifically for WooCommerce. So it gives you a lot of flexibility, but you're going to have to have more server resources and power. I would not put this on shared hosting. And you probably need a virtual private server or a standalone server in order to make this work. Speedy, because if you don't have a speedy checkout service, people will just think, okay, this doesn't work. They'll go away without checking out. So this one gives you both a free plan with a WordPress plugin and a paid plan if you go ahead with their uh, Woo for Merchants. This one is called Studio Cart. I bought this when it was on AppSumo before I got a lifetime deal. And I think that lifetime deal is over now. But it is another WordPress plugin. It has a free version and a paid version. So some of the features, obviously, of the paid version are not available on the free version. But this is another one. You can see they've got you know lovely templates in here. They can put in all the little things that you want to do. It's simple, it's elegant, and it can get you started. And if you're selling things, so like I said, we've got a course, events, one-to-one -one services or coaching, a membership, a live workshop, paid email. There's a number of things that all of these services can do for you. And you can set up order bumps. So for example, in ConvertKit, they have things where you can um, maybe do a little bit of upsell, but I didn't really see bumps. And some of the other services that I'd like to see weren't really there. So it is kind of a, a simplified version on ConvertKit, whereas these other services give you a lot more options. If you're going into WooCommerce, again, they don't have as many options by default with WooCommerce plugin, for example, you may end up needing to buy another plugin to enhance it to get some of those services or to get some of those templates. So yes, you can get it for free, but you don't get all the goodies for free. And the same thing is here. But look at these checkout pages. These are lovely checkout pages. They're going to convert well. They have uh, interesting images. They've got plenty of white space. And you can see that they integrate with a number of services. And of course, you've got all the integrations you can do with webhooks using Zapier. So let me go back up to the top over here. And we can look a little bit at the templates. And you can see that there are different things. Like if you have a lead magnet page, there's one there. Checkout pages is what it's really for. Sales pages. You can have upsell pages and thank you pages, which is very important because after you've sold something, or even if you've just given away a freebie, you want to say thank you. So that's very important to have in place. So this is where they have different plans. If you have one site, you have three sites, and you have 10 sites. So these are annual plans, and they're not out of line. I think the pricing for what it does is very good. But if you're wondering what you get, notice that you get order bumps, you get custom on-brand pages, you get card abandonment, and you get webhooks, product launch automation. That's very good. As you upgrade, you'll get everything in basic plus you know, shipping costs if you have a physical product, auto expiring download link. So in other words, here's your download link. It's only good for, let's say, 24 hours. You can do that. You can bundle things and membership add-on and split testing. So that gives you that. 
on the premium, you get priority support, you get some affiliate add-ons. So as we say, the more you want, the more you pay, but that means if you don't need it, you don't have to pay more. And they give you a nice breakdown, I think, of what happens between comparing these, if I could just find that. So under features, there's free versus pro. So you'll see core features under the free plan. You can see what they include and then what they don't include, they show with a red X. And then integrations, some of them are there in the free plan. So ConvertKit is what I'm using, it's there. But a webhook, if I were to use this with my uh, Fluent CRM, there is a way to create a webhook inside of Fluent CRM, but I can't do it with a free version of this. I need to have a paid pro version plan to do that. So again, if you have ConvertKit and for some reason you wanna use this instead of their commerce, then you can connect for free. So you can build quite a system without having to pay a lot of money. All right, so that's a quick look at some of your options for free plans and paid plans for shopping cart services. We've looked at some of the differences between different shopping cart services. I don't think any of these are bad choices, but what you need to do is decide, are they good choices for you? So I like Thrivecart and I'm using it and I may switch at some point, even though it's already paid off. I may go to SamCart at some point. I may come to StudioCart at some point. And even WooCommerce is an option. ConvertKit is something I could possibly do with some of my other websites. All of these are options that I would choose at some point, depending upon what kind of marketing I'm doing and what kind of services I need. So I would encourage you to take a look. Do you need bump orders? Do you need uh, priority service and support? Upsells and downsells? Do you need affiliates? Think about what your needs are, and maybe you don't need those right away, but look to see, do they have opportunities that you can upgrade your plan later on, maybe when you're earning more money or when you're ready for an affiliate, for example, that you can upgrade, there's a path that you can follow, because you really don't want to have to change your shopping cart service if you can help it. All right, that's all I've got for this video. If you like this video or if you found it helpful, please go ahead, give it a like. That tells the YouTube overlords we've done something right. They will share this with more people, and it really helps the channel grow. Thank you so much. I will see you again in the next video.